Right behind me was the site of a controlled burn, initially started to stop the spread of the McBride fire. But unfortunately, it crossed this road behind me, Gavilan Canyon Road, late Wednesday afternoon, and now that's forcing a new wave of evacuations. Families leaving with their kids, carrying only a few bags in their hands, taking their most treasured belongings without knowing where they're headed next, saying goodbye to their homes and most of their worldly belongings, because within a few hours, it could all be gone forever. More than a thousand people have dropped everything they're doing to help these families in need. Red Cross volunteers, charitable organizations, animal rescues, and local vet clinics. And thank goodness, because more than 1,700 people have been displaced, and around 50 families are staying in the Redoso Convention Center with dozens more expected to arrive in the next day. I am praying for the families that of my students, of my co-workers, the, the whole community because the loss of the homes that have already been, happened, um, it's, it's devastating and especially when you know some of the people that have um, lost their homes and you know and there's nothing we can do about it you know is set, come together as a community and and it we will you know and yeah a lot a lot of prayers while hundreds of donations have been made this community is still a long way from recovery this area is still on fire and out of control if you'd like to help the community foundation of lincoln county has a shelter fund and all of the donations will go straight to the people who have been displaced from these fires if you'd like to contribute you can visit the foundation's website at cfolc.org elizabeth